Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically what credit is and how we use it, and what are the advantages and disadvantages of credit, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So first let's discuss wants and needs, because that's a good way to start the discussion of why we spend money. So there are certain things that we want, like we might want the new PS5 when it comes out, or we might want uh, a huge flat screen TV. Those are things that we want, but we could live without. Needs are definitely going to be. Food, uh, we need a certain amount of clothes that we don't need to spend thousands of dollars on them. And we also might need like a home, we might need some transportation. So let's discuss where credit comes into all of this. So let's say you have $300 in the bank. All right, so you've got that money and you've got two things in front of you that you are trying to decide what you want to buy. So uh, let's pretend you're 18 years old and your car just broke down. And so uh, it's gonna take $500 to fix car. And the reason that's important is because you use the car to drive. It takes you 10 minutes to drive to work. And if you don't have that car, you can't go to work, can't go to work, you can't get paid. So you know you're gonna need that but you also have the ability to pre-order the new PS5. And that is going to, let's say, cost, uh, we'll call it $500 as well. Not sure what the price is going to be, but we'll go ahead and call it $500. So this right here is going to be a need. So you need to fix your car, because if you don't fix your car, you can't go to work, you can't go to work, you can't get the money you need for your food, your clothes, your rent, your electric bill, all those things. But this right here, this pre-ordering the PS5, this is a want. This is something you want to do, but if you don't do it, nothing bad is going to happen. You might be bored. You might have to play your old PS4 for a while, but nothing uh, life-threatening is going to happen. So there's a difference, and it's always good to think about when you're wanting to spend money, whether what you're spending it on is a need or a want. Now let's focus in on this. You need to get your car fixed. It's going to cost you $500. Unfortunately, you've only got $300 in the bank, so you don't have enough. And some of that money is already targeted maybe towards gas, towards car insurance. So this is where we're going to talk about credit. Okay, so credit comes in many forms. Sometimes you'll see uh, people have credit cards. So it might be cards. Uh, a lot of times it comes in the form of a loan. And uh, maybe businesses will give you uh, credit. They might let you buy something. But basically credit is buying something you don't have the money for. Buying something you don't have the money for. Now, why would a business or why would a, anyone give you money to buy something you don't have the money for? How are How is that helping them? Well, the key with credit, any type of credit, whether it be a home loan, whether it be a car loan, whether it be just a, a Visa or MasterCard that just comes in the mail and gives you a, a credit card, or even if you buy something at Lowe's or Home Depot and they offer you a credit card. The key is interest. This is why these businesses and these banks are so excited to give you a credit card because they make a little bit of money. Every single month that you don't pay it back, you are going to pay them a little bit extra for interest. So let's say you have a credit card and you put this $500 repair on the credit card, you can't pay it off immediately. If you could pay it off before the end of, of the monthly statement, then you're not going to pay any interest. So that's fine. But if it takes you three months, then you might pay a total of $550. You might be thinking, wait, I just borrowed $500. Why is it $550? Well, that's the interest. That's the one downside. You're going to have to pay a little bit extra by using credit.